Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're all having a lovely day. Uh, many of you have asked, why do I drive when I could simply fly places and it's so much faster? It's so much more convenient. Yeah, there's very little that depresses me more about humanity than watching people try to board and then leave an airplane. The inefficiency, lack of speed, and just watching everybody bump into each other as they take 90 seconds to take a bag from over here and put it over here. And then there's the airline losing your bag so that you lose all your things and then just having no idea where any of it is. I did learn something as a result of this though and I am quite happy. So when I went to the pharmacy that was nearby, the only deodorant they had that did not have aluminum zirconium in it was women's deodorant. So I am shamelessly wearing right now women's deodorant. And let me tell you something, women's deodorant, the scents that you have available kicks the crap out of the men's deodorant by far. Why is it all of the deodorants that I have at home smell like burning tantalum capacitors and shorted ISL 6259s when this actually smells quite lovely? Anyway, so today what I'd like to discuss is Consumer Reports having done a survey on what people believe about repair, right to repair in general, and them covering this in a very favorable light. Consumer Reports is a much more mainstream outlet, and them covering this to this degree demonstrates that right to repair is no longer some fringe issue that some whack job wearing women's deodorant discusses on his YouTube channel, but rather something that's actually starting to make some headway. And that makes me very happy. So here it says, Consumer Reports survey finds Americans overwhelmingly support right to repair. They did a survey. It says, a strong majority of Americans express support for policies that would help ensure consumers have the ability to repair their own products or to have them repaired by the servicer of their choice. Uh, they said the independent nonprofit Consumer Reports is a longtime champion of the right to repair, which guarantees that consumers and independent repairers have the same access as a manufacturer's authorized repair technicians to the information, parts, and tools needed for repairs. Other highlights from the survey include, Eight out of 10 Americans say they have in the past five years replaced at least one of the types of items we asked about due to breakage. When deciding which product to purchase in certain categories, repairability is important. For those planning to buy a vehicle, 83% say repairability is very important. For large appliances, 60% say it's very important. When asked if they believe consumers have enough choices when it comes to picking where they will get something repaired, more than half, 57% of Americans said no, there are not enough choices for at least one of the product types we asked about. More than half of Americans say they have replaced a broken product at least in one of the categories we asked about sooner than they wanted to because they couldn't find a repair professional they were happy with to fix it. Now, many will often point out that the independent repair community sometimes does not have somebody in an area that's qualified, that's good at the job, and a big part of that might just be that in order to get access to information, parts, anything to do our job, you need to literally go dumpster diving for donor boards and go to shady looking Russian websites where you will find pirated schematics, maybe if you give them money and you'll find out if you get an email to you later. That tends to kind of call the herd and tell the smarter people, the better people, you should probably get a real job. Uh, most Americans, 84%, say they agree with a policy that require manufacturers to make repair information and parts available to independent repair professionals or to product owners. Counter to the narrative that many lobbyists will tell you that if you fix something else, it'll blow up and that people don't really want to fix things themselves or any of that nonsense, when it's actually surveyed, the results are fairly interesting. It said, you mentioned that you got the appliance repaired or tried to get it repaired when it stopped working well enough to use. To which of any of the following places did you take it to to have it repaired? 52% said I repaired it myself or had it repaired by a friend or family member. 24% said the store where I purchased it. 21% said the manufacturer. 21% uh, said a local repair shop that is independent. 17% said a local repair shop that is authorized. 4% said a chain retailer. So having the device repaired by themselves or a family member was by far the most popular result here. Now, with what you hear about batteries exploding and screens that are going to slit your wrist if they get cracked and you know little pieces of glass get everywhere, you would think that we would be walking around with hospitals overflowing from people trying to fix their own stuff. But that is not at all the case. Americans overwhelmingly not only want to be able to fix their own things, but enjoy being able to work on and fix their own things. It was a part of our culture all the way up until it wasn't. And I'm glad that they point this out. Now, when you go over things like repair costs, it says, please think about the times you've ever had a small home appliance repaired by the manufacturer or other authorized repair shop. In general, which type of repair location would you say your experience on each of the following attributes is better? So when you talk about the manufacturer, 15%. 43% say about the same. 42% say the independent repair location was better when it comes to repair costs. Now, when it comes to quality of parts, 29% said the manufacturer was better, 56% said about the same, 50% said uh, that the independent was better. And again, at the end of the day, 
much, most of the time the independent doesn't get access to the same parts, we're literally dumpster diving and pulling things off of donor boards, hoping and praying, as Duke from uh, Chipmasters used to say, that it actually works. Professionalism and courtesy of staff. This one actually surprised me a little bit. Manufacturer, 20%. 58% said about the same. 23% said independent repair location. So professionalism and courtesy Independence won out by a small amount. Convenience, no surprise there. Manufacture, 18%. 47% said about the same. 35% said independent won. So independent is winning by quite a bit there. And I want to say thank you very much to Consumer Reports for putting together this survey because it really does solidify a lot of what we've been talking about on this channel here for the past eight years now. People overwhelmingly want the ability to fix their own products. People are not afraid to fix their own products. When they don't get their products fixed, it's usually because they cannot find a place to do it. They cannot get access to the parts, which I've been telling you about for a long period of time. And I just want to say again, thank you to Consumer Reports for discussing this uh, on their platform and just may, helping to make it more of a mainstream issue. And above all, thank you to everybody in my audience for helping to push this forward as a mainstream issue. At the end of the day, I'm a guy screaming into a cheap Sony camera in a poorly lit room. The reason that this is moving as far as it is is because of people like you that are helping to move things forward. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something.